Yo, what is up guys? So for today, we're going to be talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're going to be looking at the Stasis Spotlight that Bungie released on their uh, website. For Unfortunately, the video that they showed off for, for the Warlock Shade Binder, the one that was supposed to come out, was basically just footage from the subclass trailer that we already saw. What was it on Thursday? I want to say Thursday or Friday. I don't remember to be quite honest, but unfortunately, it yeah, it's just basically the same footage that we saw. I'm gonna have the link in the description definitely if you guys want to watch it. I'm not gonna waste my time putting it on this video, mostly because again, it's literally footage that we've already seen, and honestly, there's a lot more information in the website the bungee website than anything else i would have loved if we had some developers speak upon like shade bind not only shade binder but also how the subclasses are going to work upcoming shadow keep or not shadow keep upcoming beyond light that's the part that's kind of really terrible for me because i would have really loved to see like a developer talk about all of the stuff that the warlocks are getting instead we just like i'm not saying this is a negative or positive honestly it's just me personally i would have loved to see that so as you guys can see we're we're at the website right now stasis spotlight warlock shade binder like i said now the the thing that the warlocks are holding it's called the winter's wrath shade binders harness the power of darkness to summon a stasis staff Penumbral Blast fires stasis projectiles from their staff that explode on impact. Enemies hit by the crystalline shrapnel are immediately frozen solid. Okay. The Shadebinder detonates the crystal on their staff, creating a devastating shockwave that shatters all nearby frozen enemies. So, this is cool. PvE. PvP, I'm not really too sure, but whatever. Welcome to the first in a series of stasis spotlight articles where we'll be talking, taking a look at stasis via each of the three guardian classes in Destiny 2. Stasis is the new elemental power to Destiny since the original trio of Arc, Solar, and Void, and its introductions in Beyond Light will have ramifications for players across all aspects of the game, from narrative to combat to the way in which players will customize their guardians. Each Guardian class will feature a new Stasis subclass with Beyond Light. As you might expect, each class will use Stasis in a unique way. Stasis is the domain of control and element elemental power that is less about outright aggression and more about careful control of enemy combatants in space, sometimes even using the powers of Stasis in a defensive way. Hunters zipping by in the blink of an eye while slowing down opponents in Stasis fields Titan smashing their fists to the ground, launching jagged eruptions of stasis crystals from the earth. No matter which class you prefer, stasis will change the way you play Destiny 2. By commanding stasis in Beyond Light, players will have access to new powers that change their approach to a fight. In combat, stasis can manifest in multiple ways, including freezing or slowing opponents, creating crystalline stasis structures, and even shattering frozen combatants. This range of options gives players more ability to control large scale fights than ever before. No class embodies the concept of freezing better than the Warlock Shade Binder. Imbued by stasis energy, the Shade Binder can summon a stasis staff that fires projectiles, which can freeze opponents, immediately rendering them immobile. The Shade Binder's Penumbral Blast melee attack. It's a melee attack? Oh, fuck. Oh shit, dude. Imagine it having like a 360, like just area of effect. The Shade Binder, fuck. The Shade Binder's number of blast melee attack is a quick burst of stasis energy that erupts from the staff and instantly freezes anyone that hits. Oof. From there, the Warlock can either deal with the frozen enemy, fr frozen foes, or leave them be and move on their own or other my mother fuck why can i not read today and move on to other more immediate threats if you're looking to combine freezing with destruction look no further than the shade binder super winter's wrath here the shade binder summons their stat stasis staff and fires projectiles that instantly freeze opponents the second stage begins 
at and the fight ends when the guardian raises the staff and de ooh, and detonates its, its stasis crystal and sends a devastating shatter shockwave there fuck that's okay that disintegrates gets nearby frozen opponents that's wild all right so i most likely have been putting up the trailer in the background if you guys see right now customizing stasis if you played destiny 2 or destiny for long enough you know that choosing the right subclass for each situation can be crucial to the outcome of a fight titans have their bubbles warlocks have their wells skilled guardians know how to how important those abilities can be in a pinch with beyond light and stasis we're giving you even more flexibility to customize your subclass to your play style of play to your play to your style of play so as you guys can see we have what essentially looks like our abilities and then aspects so i'm guessing this is just basic like we uh, 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 let's just keep going before i start talking each stasis subclass in beyond light will give players the ability to customize abil abilities like grenades did i say that right will give players the ability to customize abilities okay that's why abilities like grenades movement no modes class abilities and so on with in addition, with we, we've added new layers of customization with the addition of aspects and fragments. All right, aspects manifest as physical items in the world, such as a crystallized vex conflux or a robotic fallen arm, for example. Okay. <clears throat> when slotted in, aspects will offer players new abilities, among other effects. These abilities can be mixed and matched freely by the player. Many aspects will have space for fragments to be slotted in. Fragments are also physical items you can discover in the world that when applied to aspects or when it... Oh my God, brain fart. Uh, fragments are also physical items you can... Uh, when applied to the aspects, offer additional p passive perks such as stat bonuses that may come with penalties. Aspect upgrades are unique to each subclass or each stasis subclass, while fragment slots are class agnostic. Ooh. How players combine these two different types of upgrades will lead to a range of customization options. So, as you guys can see right here, the Frost Pulse fragment will give you casting your rift generates a shockwave that freezes nearby combatants, which is what we saw in the trailer. And then this one. Defeating frozen targets with weapons grants you super energy, but you lose intellect and discipline tier ones or ten So fragments are the ones that we're gonna be able to customize interesting. So Before I get any further what I had in mind was basically just giving us trees trees back and Basically being able to just pick and match with what we wanted Which is ideally what I would have liked this doesn't seem bad it in by like any means it does not look bad i'm definitely gonna re re reserve my judgment until i see more of it but if i'm being quite honest i would have much preferred trees because that way we can see what we're getting and then add on top of the fragments and aspects would have been dope as fuck um again this may be really fucking cool this may be really just garbage we just have to wait and see but just from like First impressions, I kind of wish we had the trees. So, for example, a warlock finds a frost pulse aspect in the world and equips it. Their aspect augments their rift ability, which now freezes any, any enemies caught in the field. The frost pulse aspect also has a fragment slot available, allowing further customization. This warlock decides to slot in the whisper of refraction fragment that replenishes some of their class ability energy upon shattering enemies they have now set themselves up with a nice one two punch and if played skillfully can use this combo effective or frequently with its focus on freezing and shattering the sub the shade binder subclass promises to give guardians yet another reason to love their floaty book loving warlocks but no matter what class you all you like all players will be able to take advantage of aspects and fragments that unlock even more ways to make your guardian yours in our next article coming this Thursday, we point out the stasis spotlight at the class that loves to punch first and ask questions later, the Titan Behemoth. In the meantime, check out the stasis hub page to learn more about stasis and some pretty cool pictures. So that's pretty much it, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like I said, first impressions, 
uh, are just telling me that this seems cool. I definitely would have preferred an actual tree instead of what we're getting, which is basically like rift our fly or grenade and our melee and that's it i would have well actually now that i really think about it i don't see any of the second like the secondary perks within a tree like you know how bottom tree solar for hunters we have the if you shoot with if you shoot your if you get headshots you get like something a, a, a buff i don't see that here it might be the aspects if that's the case that's cool because then that we can truly choose aside from like a few things here and there again i guess it's just the ui i guess i, I just have to get used to the ui i will say though i do like the idea of this new of this new subclass menu being the subclass menu for all of them especially like how our guardians like holding out a stasis crystal it would be cool if like in the next ones we have a stasis like solar where it's just holding fire or arc where it's holding like a, a ball of electricity and then void holding like a ball of void you know stuff like that it'd be really cool to see that more i'll probably make a video on that just separately to be quite honest so yeah let me know what you guys think uh hunt warlocks let me know what you guys think i'm definitely excited to hear what you guys think i'm personally excited warlocks you guys seem like you guys are getting a lot of cool shit and honestly feels great to be back i was in vacation if you guys don't know but i will be talking about that in another video but yeah uh be safe guys you guys know what's happening in the world and other than that i will see you guys later